Art is absolutely my passion, my, my life force, my everything. It's literally all I do. And it means that I have an ability to connect and express with other people, um, which can be sometimes hard for me. And it allows me to show the world who I am. I got into video production because I have so many interests and outlets. I like making stages, I liked building furniture, I like doing the costume design, I like to do the choreography and the music and all the things. And I find that film is a way that I can combine all those things. And so I really wanted to do film production and I didn't know how. So I got hooked up with the Youth Media Project and the Art Gallery and I did that in 2015, I think. From there, I just kind of expanded my, my own knowledge and base and have been working in tech production in the arts and then went to that full time with COVID. And it's been a really cool journey. I've got to meet a lot of different people and, and develop different skills in sound and video and photography. Yeah, it's been a really, really, uh, really fulfilling time for me. And I think it's a very interesting thing as someone who's not a very tech based person. I have a very artistic mind. Like a lot of people, they feel like it's not for them and so I've kind of just I'm um, a little bit of a bull <laughs> and I just plowed through that and have forced myself to get over that. They started this new program um, setting up a sound studio within the office and so what we've launched now it's called the Digital Creation Hub. It had a really cool set though. Hey, Artists we'll come in and they have told me, oh, I need to photograph my art, or I need a headshot for my CV, or I need to make a little uh, video for my Instagram, or I need to record a song, or I've had an artist come in and do poetry in a dragon costume. You know, like, it can be, we've had the most fun stuff and the most anything. And the way that we help people is to bridge that gap between being an artist and then needing the tech skills in order to get your art out there in this, especially in this day and age and not everyone wants to learn that. Um, so some people come in and I do it for them. Some people want to come in and learn. So I teach them how to do it. And that's just been a really, really good fit for me because I am, I love working with the public. I love helping people with their art. I love, again, make, empowering people to feel good about their tech uh, skills, whatever level it's at, um, or empowering people to feel good to let you know others help them do that <laughs> if they don't want to. Um, and it really, I think, will make, it has already been making a difference in our community. When I'm a performer, I'm in my performer zone, I'm doing that, but it helps me direct the crew that I have there as well. But when I come in as a tech person, I'm able to just hold this really calm, open space and understand what it is needed by the artist, how to speak to the artist, how to make them comfortable, because nobody's comfortable on camera. <laughs> like every, well, I guess some people are. <laughs> uh, most people I work with are like, 